Welcome to this new video, today we are going to store the sessions in our database. In this way we want to further extend the Spring Authorization Server and make it ready to use in production. As in the previous videos, we will first look at the result. We put two browser windows side by side with an instance of our project in each window. We can now log into the first window with user and password. If we now click on the view sessions button we get the data from the sessions tables. We see one session. We can now log into the second window with admin and password. If we now click on the view sessions button we get the data of the sessions tables. We see two sessions. If we now log out in one of the windows, and in the other window click on view sessions we get to see one session again, the session we logged out is deleted from the database. To store the sessions in a database we don't need much new code, just a few settings will do. In the POM XML file of the Spring Authorization Server, we need a new dependency. Spring Session JDBC. In the Schema SQL file, we need to create two tables Spring Session and Spring Session Attributes. This is sufficient to store the session. To make the session data visible in our Angular project, we also need to further modify the Spring Resource Server 3. With an entity, service, and a controller. The entity is a record with all the fields of the two tables, and an add attributes method. The session service class works with JDBC template and a row mapper to convert all the data to a list. The last class is the session controller, this rest controller has one method find all session. This was all for this video. Thanks for following us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.